What's up guys, welcome back to another, yet another Ford Ranger transformation build. Um, today we're going to be doing a nice build on this Ford Ranger, it's called the Ford Ranger Storm Track, it's similar to the Wild Track and it's just like another special edition. We're going to be doing a steel off-road bumper in the front, slimline fender flares and a steel rear bumper and here are the parts. That's the front bumper, it's Armando, steel front bumper, it's a very, very nice bumper, and also the rear bumper, and all the belly plates and all the brackets that need to get put on. So stay tuned and let us know in the comments what you think of this build after we're done. And yeah, I hope you enjoy it. I've got my happy helper with me today, Tyron. He's going to be helping us, uh, giving an extra hand with this build. Um, yeah, the bumper's obviously quite heavy and stuff, so let's start. Okay, first step, putting the front bumper, obviously taking off all the original parts. So we're going to start with taking off the cover for the grill, the grill, the nudge bar, the bumper, and get everything stripped, and then uh, we'll start with the assembly on the bumper. Let me show you my countryside through these old headlights. We can take this road as far as you want to go. I'll show you how it does. Okay, got so far, we've got the grill out. Took some of the park sensors out to paint them so long because the steel bumper is black and I obviously don't want white park sensors in a black bumper. I've still got to take the center park sensors out. We've got all the clips and the bolts and the screws and stuff out. And now we're going to take the bumper off. And then we are not exactly halfway there, but hopefully got some good momentum to get the bumper on. We can take this Tyron is still trying to remember how to take the Ranger bump off, but I'm sure he knows by now. So we've got to get these bump brackets off, these brackets off, take all of these things off. Then we've got to fit the pre-collision assist and adaptive cruise control bracket onto the new bumper, which comes with special brackets for this radar sensor. And yeah, then we are almost a go to fit the steel bumper. Also got to trim these, these plastics a little bit. So I'm busy putting on the fog lights now, the LED fog lights, then I just need to wire them up together and put a plug on them so we can plug them in on the harness on the bucky. And then I need to take off this bracket here because this is where the pre-collision assist radar sensor goes. Um, there's a special bracket that gets fitted here for that sensor radar box. Um, and then I'll lay the park sensors, put the park sensors in, put the park sensor wiring harness in. Then we can put the bumper onto the mainframe that Tyron's already fitted on the chassis legs. So that basically acts as a stiffener once everything's together. So we are getting there. The bumper sensor holes comes with pre-mounted plate for if you don't have a park sensor so if you knock them out they have these little hooks that you need to smooth out so that's actually what i'm doing on right now and then i'm going to fit the park sensors and then we can fit the bumper almost there okay so one of the more harder things to do on this fitment of the armandu front steel off-road bumper is getting the pre-collision assist radar box onto the steel bumper so if you come a bit closer you can see that this is the bracket that was originally in the stiffener and this is the, the actual sensor so don't drop this it's very expensive so this actually just clips into these little holes you have to actually get it off with some force obviously carefully first clip that off the whole contraption this also clips off these i don't know if you can see these little balls on the bracket so this is the bracket that holds the sensor and this is the bracket that mounted to the front original front bumper or the stiffener so you just have to 
get force in there and some leverage and take these pivot these things out and um, then we're going to put this sensor back as far i've done it once before or twice before a while back and then these or this bracket this is the bracket that comes with the steel bumper and you can see there's three holes there obviously and i'm thinking those three holes are meant to go like that so there you can see the three holes so we just need to get some bolts and nuts and mount that and then put the radar back pop it in back on those knobs and then this bracket once it's obviously going to be mounted into one um, this bracket then mounts on the inside of the bumper so that whole thing will sit there and you will have to align it and obviously shim it into the right area on to the next piece of this puzzle all right so we've got the park sensors in the bumper now it took this thing took way 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 longer than anticipated um this is the pre-collision assist radar box uh, in the lane assist box um, i had to sort of customize the bracket that was given to me with the bumper and yeah it was I'll, I'll make a whole other video for that and that's what it looks like came out neat all the phone accessors are in tyrant's very very scared of the camera still so just excuse him <laughs> and it's also very scared that the bumper is going to fall off the trolley but i've got it in control the radar box looks nice Fog sensors are in painted black you can see painted black lighting is a bit odd here light sensors are in painted black you can just hold it like that tyron now we're going to put the bumper on and let's go time all right it is day two of the storm track ranger bold we've got a bit of an issue with the bold so far there's something missing on the rear bumper bracket for the tow bar so the client's going to take it back with him and get the bracket and once he's got that then we'll obviously carry on with the bumper on the next bold attempt so now we're just going to finish the front bumper we're busy we've talked it and lined it up everything is good on it uh, now we're going to put the belly plate and all the remaining covering plates on do the fog light wiring fit the rear bumper back the standard one back on do the slimline fender flares and then we are finished with this bolt so let's carry on okay we've got the front end finished we fitted the bumper came out super nice I think it looks really 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 nice we fitted the spotlights on the bumper the grill the fog lights wiring is done fitted the slimline flares there you can see the whole picture of the bucky it's a pity we couldn't get to fit the rear bumper so we're gonna have to just sort that out on a later stage flares so we're gonna just fit the tow bar on the original bumper again and then we finish for the day Got a visitor in the shop today. My sister is leaving for Abu Dhabi on Friday and this is the first time she's visiting me at my shop. Good lucky with your bucky. <laughs> good, lucky, good lucky with your bucky. All of the best for her adventure in Abu Dhabi. And let's get back to the bolt. Okay, that brings us to the end of this very nice bolt. Uh, we finished with the bumper, the fender flares, Unfortunately, we couldn't do the rear bumper because of that tow bar issue. Uh, but the front bumper looks very, very nice. Got the LED fog lights in there. Obviously, the LED spotlights work as well. Uh, it's got a pair of big wheels on, which, in my opinion, is very important on these pickup bucky trucks. And yeah, we, unfortunately, yeah, it was a real pity we couldn't do the rear bumper. But he's coming back for that next week. So. I'll make a separate video for that. It's got nice LED tail lights in. We didn't fit that, but we do also do that every now and then. Oh, flipping, flipping, nice, bold. Yeah, let's do a walk around and I hope you enjoyed the video. And if there's any questions, pop a comment. I'll get back to it as soon as I can. And if you like the content, subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers, guys.
Cause I'm 